Students, uh, we're talking about the different techniques of digital to analog conversion. Went through ASK, we also discussed the FSK. Now let's talk about the third one, which is the PSK or the phase shift keying. Students, in this particular case, the phase of the carrier signal is varied, while the amplitude and the frequency, they remain constant. Students, PSK is relatively common than ASK and FSK. आप देखेंगे कि जब हम कॉर्डरेचर एम्पलीट्यूड मॉडलेशन या फिर कैम क्वाम पढ़ेंगे व्हिच इज आर फोर्थ एंड द लास्ट टेक्निक फॉर डिजिटल टू एनालॉग कन्वर्जन यू सी दैट दैट इज द मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज टेक्निक सो फार बट इफ यू कंपेयर एएसके एफएसके एंड पीएसके पीएसके इज प्रोबेबली द मोस्ट कॉमन आउट ऑफ द थ्री स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन ऑन द स्लाइड यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव गॉट अ बिट रेट ऑफ 5 वी हैव गॉट अ बॉर्डर रेट ऑफ 5 एज़ वेल वी हैव गॉट अ मॉडुलेटेड सिग्नल in which our signal takes two different forms two signal elements one with a phase of zero so you've got a one with a phase of zero degrees and then you've got a zero which has got a phase of 180 degrees so you're essentially varying the phase of the carrier signal and the modulated signal the resulting modulated signal that you get has got different phases varying phases for the two signal elements that we are using but the amplitude remains the same once again so amplitude is constant and as you can see the frequency is constant as well the number of cycles completed per second is constant as well for both the signal elements 0 and 1 students the bandwidth is exactly the same as that of ask so the bandwidth of PSK binary PSK binary because it just uses two signal elements zero and one. The bandwidth of PSK is equal to the bandwidth of ASK, and it's lesser than that of the required bandwidth of the FSK frequency shift keying. Now, students, we will see implementation binary phase shift keying. Ki. Once again, we have got an oscillator. As you can see, oscillator produces a carrier signal. In this particular case. we have got the polar nrz signal so we are not using bipolar we have got a polar so our digital data that we need to send is represented by a polar nrz line coding scheme our students in this particular case the carrier signal is generated once again and for zero we have i'm sorry for one we have a phase of 0 degrees no change in amplitude no change in frequency and the phase remains constant as well no variation ab students jaise hi we'll get a zero the phase changes so a one is represented by a phase of 0 degrees and a zero is represented by a phase of 180 degrees once again we have got got a one a phase of 0 degrees we have got a one a phase of 0 degrees and the phase varies as as soon as we encounter a zero and we have got a phase of 180 degrees so your carrier um, actually helps us to generate this polar nrz signal and the modulated signal that we get has is got uh, it has got a different phase for um, each one of the two signal elements that we are using in binary psk Our students because this is a simple technique as you must have noticed the designers decided to use two bits at a time in each signal element and that decreased the baud rate decreased your signal rate and therefore it decreased the required bandwidth as well and we call this technique as quadrature psk or qpsk as you can see in this case uh, students we use two separate b Uh, binary psk modulations the first one is on the top so basically as you can see we have got um two bits per signal element in this case and we are using two binary psk this is our binary psk 1 modulation and then you have got our binary psk 2 modulation we still have a 2 by 1 converter and we have got an oscillator that's producing our carrier frequency there is a phase shift between the carriers produced by the first oscillator there is a different phase 
which is produced in the carrier, which is produced by the second part of the oscillator, and ultimately, when you sum them up, you get your modulated signal for this quadrature PSK. And students, as you can see, uh, we, we, we are still getting composite signals, but the two composite signals that are created by each multiplier, one here and one here, the two composite signals are this one and this one, and these two composite signals are, once again, sine waves with the same frequency, the same amplitude, but different phases. And when they are added, the result is another sine wave. So this is your summation. Result is another sine wave, and it has got one of the four possible phases, um, which can be uh, 45 degrees, 135 degrees, minus 45, and minus 35 out here that you're going to use uh, in this quadrature PSK, digital to analog conversion technique. So let's take example. In this particular example, we have a bandwidth for a signal that is transmitting at 12 megabits per second for QPSK, and the value of D is equal to zero. Now the formula for uh, QPSK, because we know that two bits are carried by one signal element, R, R in this particular case is two. Now the signal rate or the baud rate is N divided by R, and that comes out to be 12 megabits per second divided by two, which is equal to six mega baud. And if our D is equal to zero now, then we can see that our bandwidth is equal to S, which is equal to six megahertz in this particular case. So in the case of quadrature uh, PSK, we have reduced the bandwidth to half of the uh, bit rate, which is 12 megabits per second, and we have reduced it to six megahertz per second, and it is proportional to our signal rate as well.